Hi, this is Balash from WPCookhouse.com and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to force the SSL connections, the, the HTTPS connection for your website. I'm using a WordPress website here on Bluehost, it's hosted on Bluehost, but it doesn't really matter because I am going to show you the most robust and easiest version with the .htaccess file, which I recommend you to use. The only thing you need is an FTP software and the file editor. I'm using FileZilla and Notepad++. I'm going to put the links in the descriptions because both are free. So, so you can download them and go ahead and use them because you can do this in your web host cPanel, but I don't recommend doing that. You just cannot revert back easily if you screw up something in your htaccess file and you can basically screw up your whole domain if you do something wrong. But this way, even if you do something wrong, you can just undo what you did. So first log into your hosting account with the FTP client and you will see a .htaccess file here. Even if you're not using WordPress, usually you have a .htaccess file here and with WordPress, this will look something like I just uh, right clicked then click view edit and this will look something like this so let's go back to the domain because what we see here is I I'm using the HTTPS connection I have the SSL certificate but if I remove the HTTPS my website loads and this is not good uh, Google doesn't like it and this is not good. So we should force it to use the HTTPS connection. The only thing you need is basically three lines of code to place it in the beginning of the htaccess file. Just come here. I'm going to put this also in the, in the description. So just feel free to use it. So these are the three lines. Of course, you need to substitute your own domain name here. So please don't use example.com. I'm going to copy my own domain name here. That's it. Remove the last training, training slash and remove the HTTP. So just HTTPS colon slash slash your domain name. And that's it. I'm going to save it go back to FileZilla and click yes to upload my, my file. My file is uploaded. And if I go back here and I try to refresh, so this is the not HTTPS version. You don't see the HTTPS here. If I try to refresh this version, you need to remove your browser data but the thing is already working so if i'm so if i open up another browser here and i copy my domain without the https so that the http version you see the https version is loading so everything is working fine if you want to see it in your in your browser you need to remove the browsing data because it is cached here but on your server for everybody else that is going to work so this is very easy if you screw up something uh, i told you to use an ftp client and and something like notepad plus plus because you can just undo with ctrl z so you can you can go back if you screw up something then uh, press ctrl s and upload the file and everything is going to work and maybe you can ask your hosting provider for help but my changes are working everything everything is fine so that easy is to force the https connection for your website i hope you found this video useful please give me a like and be sure to subscribe to the wp cookhouse channel you can find free videos about blogging seo and online marketing here and of course thank you for watching